para i have heard the learned counsel for the both the parties and gone through the case file thoroughly para after hearing the arguments of learned counsel for both of the parties and going through the record produced on case file it comes to the considered opinion of this court that here plaintiffs have alleged that suit property is the ancestral cum co personary property and plaintiffs have right by birth but this contention of plaintiffs is not tenable because learned counsel for the plaintiffs has not put forth even a single document regarding the nature of the suit property in other words if there is any such document regarding the ancestral and co personary nature of suit property then it would be produced before the court but here it did not happen moreover defendant number 2 has purchased the suit property from defendant number 1 as the suit for specific performance of contract filed by the defendant number 2 is already decreed in the favor of defendant number 2 the suit land furthermore whether the defendant number 1 was in the need of the alienating the suit land to the defendant number 2 or not in a matter of evidence but at this stage such the authenticity of judgment and decree dated 1st february 2014 the suit land passed by the sri vikas gupta additional civil judge senior division hodel and the execution petition dated 18th december 2015 in favor of defendant number 2 cannot be considered as a futile exercise at this stage contentions of learned counsel for the plaintiffs do not attract the attention of this court with fully satisfaction para so it is usually to say that prima facie case is not made out in the favor of the plaintiffs and the balance of convenience also not tilt in their favor and irreparably loss will not be caused to them if injunction prayed is not granted so application filed under order 39 rule 1 and 2 cpc stands dismissed thereof and disposed of accordingly para learned counsel for the complainant has thus argued that despite the fact that the civil court in execution of the decree dated 1st february 2014 has got the sale deed executed in favor of the complainant on 8 april 2016 and the possession was delivered by the revenue officials on 18th april 2016 the petitioners are repeatedly interfering in possession of the complainant and on that account on an earlier occasion a forced fir number 81 was registered and again they have forcibly cut the standing crops of the complainant and have committed the offence of theft and therefore they are habitual offenders it is also submitted that petitioner number 1 has been convicted in an fir under section 302 ipc and his sentence has been suspended and during the period of bail he has extended threat to the complainant para 
after hearing learned counsel for the parties and going through the record and considering the allegations leveled against the petitioners it cannot be held that it is a case of purely civil nature though in an another suit order of status quo regarding the possession is passed however complainant ravi dutt sharma is not a party to the suit para primarily it is apparent that the complainant is owner in possession of the property and the petitioners have repeatedly committed the theft of crops standing over his land after harvesting it in night as even on an earlier occasion a similar fir was registered therefore considering the serious allegations against the petitioners i find no ground to grant anticipatory bail to the petitioners dismissed